Hello there, you're very welcome indeed to number 10 Lismore in Earlsford in Blackrock, County Louth. I'm going to show you today a fantastic, very smart, two bedroom, end of terraced, two storey house. But before I do, I want to tell you about where we are. So we're right beside Blackrock Village in the northeast. Blackrock Village is one of those little spots for a small place, it has a lot to say for itself. It has a, two national schools, creche facilities, supermarkets, a gym. It has a world of sports amenities thanks to the very vibrant Blackrock and Haggardstown Community Centre. It has a local GAA club and within that is this lovely development called Earlsfort which has gradually been built over the last 15 to 20 years and it stands now as a very smart, well-maintained and frankly nice and quiet neighbourhood. But yet, you're within walking distance of the village and if you wanted to get onto the motorway to get to Dublin or Belfast, you're very convenient to that and indeed it's easy to get to the local bus route to get on the bus to Dublin if commuting is important for you. So the property itself is number 10 Lismore, as I said. Uh, I'm going to give you a good look inside and you'll immediately be impressed by the quality of the accommodation, nice layout and sizes, and stay tuned to the end for a lovely backyard. Uh, let's have a look inside and then if you have any questions or if you'd like to take a closer look, then give us a call. We're now on the market at 290,000 euro. Let's go inside. Well, before we go inside, it's nice just to point out uh, the exterior of the property. Very low maintenance um, finish on this property and a lovely little quiet secluded corner as well um, at the end of a little cul-de-sac of dwellings. This is an end terrace property and it's in a terrace of three. Nice little off street parking here and then little front garden as well. Nice to have a little bit of planting interest. And as you can see also some nice little um, pots of plants um, approaching the front door. So coming inside now, very, very pleasant inside in this property, nice tiled floor running through the downstairs and then as you see the stairs to upstairs which we'll get to in a moment. Nice to see a radiator cabinet, I do like to point out layers in a property. We're going straight in now to the living room, very smart space. This is a semi-open plan living. So uh, we actually have, um, it's dual aspect insofar as you can connect into the kitchen straight away. It's not enclosed, but if you wanted to enclose it off, it would be very easy to do so. One of the things that's really important about this though, is that you don't have to go through the living room to get into the kitchen. In some properties, the layout is such that you've got to go through the living room and, and that's not the case here. So a nice um, a laminate or clip floor underfoot and a gas fire here with what looks to be like a nice neutral sandstone fireplace. You can see it's a nice size space, well proportioned, space for a good big sofa there. And then there's the all important television. And of course, from where I was standing outside, you can see here um, when you're looking from the living room that there is nothing directly facing you from outside. Does that make sense? So that's the back of a property to the left and the side of a property to the right. So nobody's looking back at your property. So it's a nice sort of sense of privacy as well. So we're coming through now to the kitchen. Very nicely appointed kitchen. It's like a cream, um, a high gloss cream finish kitchen. Very contemporary, very easy to live with. Um, it's got, for example, so there in the stainless steel drop down is where your gas boiler is. You have an integrated oven and gas top hob, tile splashback and an integrated dishwasher. Very nicely put together. Around behind me then, dining area. You can see there it's a good amount of space. You can put a decent sized six or even eight seater dining table if you wanted to put it there, if socialising and or even having a workspace here in the kitchen if that's important to you. So you can see here it's laid out currently with a dresser and a dining table and plenty of space to boot. And there's a back garden but stay tuned and we will look at that afterwards. So I'm coming back out through the kitchen door and we're back out into the entrance hallway. As you will probably have spotted by now this property is in lovely condition. It's really very effortless for the next owners to come in and make this their own. I'm passing the guest toilet and understairs storage on my right before we head up the stairs. So here we are now up at first floor level and I'll start with the bathroom. 
The bathroom has a shower set, an electric shower, I should say, set into the bath, which is a fully tiled area there. Okay, and nice modern sanitary appliances, nicely tiled. Next up, bedroom number one. What you're going to see here is two really, really well-sized rooms. This is the smaller of the two bedrooms, and small is not a word that I would use to describe it. Um, lovely, big, fitted storage there at the back of the room, and you can see there plenty of space around the bed. So you can put a big bed in, you could put a desk in here, you could uh, really make further use of this space if you wanted to. This bedroom looks out onto the back of the property and similar to the front, nobody looking back at you, which is a real bonus and something, as you know, if you're following my videos, I do always like to point out the context beyond the boundary of the property. And now into the front and the, the larger of the two bedrooms. This is a really, really spacey room. I'm really impressed with the amount of space here. Upstairs throughout the two bedrooms and the landing is a lovely high gloss uh, clipped floor. It's got a very smart um, tone to it and it's a lovely setting for these rooms. This space has a world of built-in storage. Love the duck egg or baby blue on the wallpaper on the back wall. You can see there um, a 246 bay, a three, so to say a three double door bay fitted wardrobe along that wall. And then when I pan around here, additional storage at the far end of the room as well. So you're very, very well catered for in terms of your storage. That's just looking at again. Can you see there as to, oops, sorry, as to where, not looking properly, as to where we were. So that is the second room. Now let's have a look in that lovely back garden. And so we're out in the back garden and ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to suggest to you or propose to you that this back garden might just have achieved the perfect balance between a low maintenance space that's lovely to look at and that is ready for your use at a moment's notice. Because let's face it, when the sun comes out in Ireland, we literally do just have a moment's notice before we can get out there and enjoy it. So here we are. It's a lovely combination of space because you've got the important green that you need from a garden with these nice curved beds on either side. But through the central part, it's laid in a lovely, uh, lovely gravel, which you'll see in a moment matches the house perfectly, but also has this really well laid out and very well considered patio area. You can see now. So the gravel uh, blends in very nicely with the house and this spot here, this literally center dot in the middle of the garden, as you can see there, makes the perfect spot in the evening time for sitting down, putting out your table and your little table and chairs and your little glass of wine or coffee and really making the most of this lovely space. So thank you so much for joining me here at this virtual viewing. I do hope as always that you found this information to be of use. If you have any questions, you can click on any of our links or you can give us a call or pop into the office and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Equally, if you would like to take a closer look at this property and a range of viewing and to walk through it yourselves, then of course, we will happily see you here. We are now on the market and the property, as I said at the beginning, is going to be of particular interest to first time buyers because it's that lovely two story, two story, two bedroom size. It's a perfect starter home size. But equally, if you're looking with an investment in mind, it's a great property and a great proposition because of its location, its quality, and the fact that there's no rental history on it. So you don't have the rent pressure zone issues to contend with. In conclusion, thank you for joining me and hopefully we'll see you here very soon. Bye bye.